Hello everybody and welcome to an experimental episode. Speaking of which, episodes. Let us set a timer. Uh, let's have a 20 minute experimental episode of Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth on Private Investigator. Now this game is a Bethesda game, it's very buggy so it's gonna crash. But I've patched it to the best of my abilities. Now, at my end, I can fully see. My last case opened me a new fear. A real fear. A fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. All that I was is now so lost. Enjoy this Hope, cutscene. purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds. And it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. Oh, hi there. Is that us? Is that me? Hope that doesn't flag me. <laughs> that would be awful. <laughs> this is not a good start. Any in ourselves? into the future or something? I don't know. Okay, so... That was rather... disturbing. Now, there's gonna be crashes, it is a Bethesda game, and it is a... old game. Game tips are currently active! Okay. Six and a half years ago. Sorry, my computer's making some funny noises. As it always does. Wow. Look at this. This is my first time playing this game. I just started this up and started recording. Like I said, it's experimental, so I don't know. There's there's a couple of known bugs that I'm gonna try to avoid. Robert, this had better be good. What's the beef? Hey, that's me. Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor. Gonna only gonna talk to you. Say. Don't know any. Victor. He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Yeah, stealing, see? pulling through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's Causing homes trouble, all hours. See? No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the local scare. Scare. So tonight, see? we were just passing, you know, yeah. doing the normal rounds. When we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I better check out this crazy gang of yours. All right, so here we are. We have no body. If the uh, if the game looks a little bit stretched, it's because I have, I have the FOV sliders set to ninety. Oh, this takes me back. This Evening, is back Jack. in the Glad you could join days. the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. Yeah. 
Let's just walk. Try to stay calm. Oh, nope. Let's run. Let's run. Now. Running. That. Whoa, jeez. Going this way. Alley. Hey, alleyway. Is F5 or F6 quick save? No. What is going on here? Oh, keep your head down. I can lean with E and Q. What is interact? That symbol strange. It's almost like a flaming eye. I should take a closer look. Oh, should I now? In a cultist house? What's going on here? Die! Me? Not me. I'm looking. I'm looking at it. What do you want me to do? Die, you pathetic bastard! Well, that's no way to talk to people. What is the interact key? Hold on. Action S. Really? Oh, well, we're going to fix this. Wow, this is, uh... This is some really old crap going on here. Oh, yeah. This harkens back to the days of, like, stuff and things. Remember, remember back when, you know, like, uh, System Shock 2, where... S was not one to the right. backpedal. Kill it's him. Locked. S was not backpedal, it was X. That was awkward. Those were awkward days. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. What was that? I don't like that. I don't like that sound. It's a bad sound. It won't open. Neither will that. Whoa, what is that sound? What is that? Oh, hello. Are you friendly? At friendly? <laughs> Guess not. Okay. Right then. Right. You seem to recognize me. I don't get it. Empty ammo boxes and spent shells. An old wardrobe. Wow, are you gonna comment on everything? What a nuthouse. The walls have been covered with glyphs. Amazing, you are gonna comment on everything. It's too heavy to move. Whoa, hey. Don't do that. Freak me out here. This is an experimental episode, I'll say it again. Yeah, not going over there. This is an experimental episode, which means I'll probably fix some stuff if it seems a little bit wonky. I poisoning by the looks of it. Oh. That one cult that uh, whoa, what's going on here? Close the door. Calm down. Chill out, chill out, dude. Chill out, chill out. What's the matter? Oh, you're looking at dead He's people. Dead. They're all dead. You're looking at dead people, you're getting freaked out. Okay, that makes sense. This? A diary. This will make interesting reading. You picked up your first journal item. Select the book icon in the interface to study your journal. It may reveal vital clues. Hey, that's us! Look at you. You handsome devil. 
narcotic analgesic. Collection of general evidence. Member. August 20th, 1915. We have been watching him for two months. I can feel my anticipation growing as the day of contact draws near. Victor has not yet divulged his final plan for bringing Mr. Walters to us. All I know is that we must succeed. August 24th. The sermon today was inspiring. Victor enlightened us with a story of the great race transcending the bounds of time to visit his dreams of the conscious things on this earth and in the ocean depths. We are but servants to a greater design. I can only hope that my faith during these days will win me favor when our masters step through the gate. The experiments below have claimed one more of our order. Another volunteer is needed, but many are willing. We are truly blessed through our faithful service now that the coming grows so close. Well, this is, yeah, I'm not going to comment on that. Preparations are complete and Victor's plan is in motion. He will arrive soon. Surely by now he must suspect his true nature or at least question the nature of his gifts. He has come. It finally begins. Okay. Uh, you can pause that if uh, you want to read it. Hmm, interesting. He said as if he actually read. Nothing of interest. Are you kidding? That's a book right there. Okay then. All right, Jack. Do it. We've got no choice now. We've got to do this. Move. To sneak up on. Oh. Don't shoot. Nor. Ah. We've been expecting you, Mr. Wild. Well. Okay. Damn. He recognized me, and it sounded like he was going to get on the level with what's going on in this joint. Could come in handy. Yes, it could. Let's go find where it's where it goes to. Hmm. A key. Where could this key go to? Maybe one of the locked doors, perhaps. Won't open. Hmm. Let's try this key. With an S. The lock on the store is broken. Really? It won't budge. Lock the lock on the store is broken. What are we in Resident Evil? S. It says S on it. So what looks like an S in this place? Let's just save right now. Try to get some things done here. Might crash, you never know. Whoa, that was weird. Dropped to 30. And then everything went wrong. Whoa, okay. Dining, it's a dining room. Hope this isn't Chris's sandwich. What is this? As I continue to translate the narcotic fragments, I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. I know now just how insignificant mankind is in the universe. A doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the Elder Things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. I would beg to differ. Frankly, I think things that don't look human are not human. The board has been used to illustrate a diagram. Yeah, Captain Obvious. To the rescue. Dun 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 dun! Captain Obvious. Ooh, this is new. Rats! Ratties! Hello, ratties! Hmm. I might actually have to fix the FOV on this. 
This looks pretty nasty. It's really dark, too. Crap, I need a flashlight. It's unlocked. Yeah, damn right it's unlocked. What's going on here? They've been stalking me. I don't understand. I mean, all of Paparazzi. these photos. All, all of them. them. Man, we it are on the level kind of mistake. Why would they want me here? That must be an old case. Something I've forgotten. Some screwball with a grudge, maybe. I don't know, but calm down. I gotta think. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Here, look at Another this key. key. Look at the key. Look this key. should fit the door He's across nice. the He's hall. nice. Yeah, we like the key. We like the key. The key is good. The key is good. The key is calming. The key is soothing, Jack. It's soothing to our to our mind, Jack. It's soothing. They've been tracking me. They know I have lunch at 12 o'clock. Nobody else has lunch at 12 o'clock. It could not be nobody nope, else. But nothing me. of interest. That they've been tracking. I know of no man who has lunch at 12 o'clock. Other than myself. It's unlocked. Of course it's unlocked. I unlocked it. What's it this? appears to be a private study area. Yes, but what is this? Hello? Secret flashy things. The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. The symbols on the front seem to be written in classical. Does it Greek. have any tits, though? We got podium sermon. Yeah, we've already read that. Jack filled us in. Oh, this takes place in Boston and whereabouts. Well, I guess Shadow over Innsmouth. Yeah. That's actually really close to me. It's kind of creepy. Pause that and read it. There's a lot of shit here. Did I miss one? Probably did. That is so interesting! Oh, this manuscript looked medieval, but it appears him. Classical Greek, the far older work before the first humans. Pages are stained, faded, and even burned in some places, making reading difficult. The legible sections tell the history of unthinkably distant antiquity. Race is so strange to be beyond human comprehension. Wars fought across vast gulfs of time and space. Concepts so utterly alien they sound like absolute madness. Time travel, flying polyps, mental projection, great race of yith makes you dizzy just to read it. It looks like an eye, but the rest of the painting has no real shape. Yeah, painting usually focuses around one major theme. Barring all others, the eye would happen to be that. Okay, so I've got all this stuff, all this the shiny. Cases, they seem quite literate. There yeah, are definitely well, some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. But I shall anyway because. Hey! Oh, shit! Oh. That did not sound good. Okay, this is where the crash happens. So, jump. Yeah! Okay. So you gotta jump before you hit the bottom. Uh, well, otherwise it'll crash. Swell. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm sorry, fella. I'm sorry, fella. Uh, wait a minute. No, I'm not. Oh, jeez. I guess I should rush. Open. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Dead bodies. And plenty of them. Something dreadful has been going on down here. Oh. Buddy, the ketchup convention has arrived. Look! See? Mustard and ketchup. Oh, jeez. Okay. What's going on here? 
Oh god. Oh. Hey. Hi, buddy. Good god. What the hell is all this? What? Oh my. Well, this has been an experimental video, folks. Do I really want to leave it at this? Nah, let's finish the prologue. So, this guy's organs are all in different places, and he's being kept alive somehow. Uh, let's stop that. Shit. I'm not sorry! Just don't look at him. Just don't look at him. Just don't look at him, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine, don't look at him. Oh, I'm not sorry. Your brain's gone. The crystal's still warm. Mmm, yummy. I stick it in my butt. What? What'd you say? This tunnel feels like it's gonna collapse at any moment. Better rush, then. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Push the button! Ah! It's too hot to pick up! Ooh, jeez. That's not good. What's going on here? What is this? It's a similar shape to the slot upstairs. Hmm. I wonder if I can put this thing in it. Yep. Pretty straightforward. And push it the button. Whoa, what's my arm? <laughs> what the hell? I guess that's what the FOV is. That, that's what the FOV hides. My extra hand. What's going on here? Oh no, I opened the Stargate. Anubis is coming. Anubis. Or... Um... Are these the Yith? I have no words. I have damn pants, though. Okay, then. So that was 1915, this is 1922. It's been more than six years yeah. since I entered that strange house in Boston. And it but was six me, and a half years ago. It was ago just that he five was months ago. Hung himself, so Amnesia, the doctor's Six called, months until we die. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. We die in six months. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. <laughs> that's screaming, by the way. In case you hear anything else, that's according like to the police report. They had searched the house for that's hours, screaming. only to find me later collapsed on the floor. Interesting. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum. What? Where I was Where's the Joker? With severe schizophrenia. As it became clear Joker. that I presented no Arkham. danger to either myself or others, I was released yeah. from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. Oh, I'm beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told in the series. Oh, and he's drawing the little gear. Jack Walters. Hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. That's not my job anymore, see? I don't nah. take that kind of job. 
Did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. I spent my time drawing aliens. Yeah. See? Yeah. My pants above my nose. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably gonna be a running theme. <laughs> Money, a key, a map, and a clipping. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Um, it's one of my store managers, you see. You see? Ryan, <laughs> Ryan Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. I have. Small fishing it's about an hour and a half drive away from me. Not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this. J <sighs> what the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Ah, uh, okay. So, out of boredom, you decide to plunge headlong into the unknown. Okay. Okay. All right then. So. That's it for this introductory test video. I will see you folks later. I am Fried Penguin. This has been Call of Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. Goodbye.